Okay, so what does the most accurate hand saw player think about while aiming? Well, this video is going to be my attempt at opening up my thought process and also explaining what I look out for when choosing my position and my targets. It's not that impressive to me because this is like the baseline that I expect from myself. Because I think of every single shot in a way that it's like... Oh my God. I, if I don't hit it, there needs to be reason of either bad aim or unpredictable target. It's like, that, that guy's unpredictable, I'm not gonna get mad about missing, but that one, if I would've missed, I would've gotten very mad. Because the guy, I'm, if I shoot from here, I would have actually killed him, but it wasn't a hundred percent guaranteed. It's a tough. It's a tough one. Like that one was bad aim because I would have also hit it. That one kind of bad aim, but also a difficult shot. But it's like my point was there's like they're already looking at me, so I can't expect to hit that. There he crouched out of the way, so it's like obviously it's gonna miss. That one guy was so fast. And there, once again, unpredictable. And <laughs> you're really trying to do the one v one like that, bro? Come on. He's looking at me. Oh, I shot too early. Ah, oh, I wanted to take the risk to just like let him shoot one more time so I, I catch him during the next jump. So to reiterate, I think of every shot as an individual shot. All shots miss either because of bad aim or because the shot wasn't a guaranteed hit in the first place. And this soldier saw me, but I shot faster than he expected, so he kept running in a straight line instead of dodging my shot. Unlike the Kiriko here. That's a good example. That was technically like a triple depth, where it's like he expected my prediction, so that's why he moved, instead of it being even instinctual. Okay, let's swap over to this insane Circuit Royale match. It's like the reason why it's so difficult to get multiple picks in a row is because by the time you kill two people, everyone knows where you are. So the third shot will be very difficult. You're not in a hurry, you already killed two people. Just take a break and like reposition or make them for like, let them forget that you exist by just waiting for a tiny bit. Dude, so clean with the aim, though. Dude! Ah, oh, I needed to hit that. Oof. That was bad. My arm wasn't the right way to be able to aim to the right. It's still... I think it's just more my posture. Oh my god. I wanted to save my dragon, but... Oh, nice wall climb, Jesus. As in, not mad about missing that one. I knew there was someone there still. Never mind, we're resetting here. That's big. Like, uh, I was gonna say that I, was, I had multiple covers between me and the target, so it's extremely difficult for them to spot me. It's like, even here, I'm using the bush and the floor and the tree. So, they just kind of have... In incredibly difficult for them to hit me or see me but then the mercy did blue beam me so that makes it obvious no matter how far away i am that's another problem with getting beamed like this good example of like i'm not gonna hit these shots that well i can hit these because they're jumping so they don't have as much control but i'm also aiming up which is a lot more difficult than 
at head level. At least hopefully you're not used to flicking up and down that much. Because you should have your crosshair at head level at all times anyways. The only reason you would be used to that is if you have bad crosshair positioning. Trying to shoot a hand saw who's kind of just like staring at me and getting ready to like literally walk out of the way when they when he she sees me shoot. That makes it so that it's it can't ever be a guaranteed shot because he's expecting it. He's he's gonna react based on what I do, so I can't predict that that well because he can just see where the arrow is gonna fly and then just move the opposite way. But a Baptiste jumping up is like it's a difficult shot, but if you have the aim, it's basically guaranteed. Like, he can move a tiny bit left and right while mid-air, so if you're too far, then it's not, not ever going to be a guaranteed shot. But there's also the thing that a jumping Baptiste is not going to put that much thought into, into the evasive movement, so it is more predictable. It's kind of like everyone thinks it's impossible to hit a flying Farah from far away because, you know, it's flying and stuff. But when you're flying in the air, your movement is more predictable. The fact that you're going to run out of jetpack fuel if you just keep going up makes it already more predictable because you know that the Farah needs to kind of wobble up and down. Like I know when the soldier is about to run out of bullets, he's going to run back to cover to reload. Same way a hand saw will run back to cover between every shot. Because you don't have to stay peaked while reloading, it's just like an instinct to hide when you can't shoot anyways. So that's why it's like the moment he's about to run out of bullets, I shoot on his right side because he's gonna get ready to... ready to run back into cover. Dude. Make sure you subscribe, like... This is my second channel, but it's crazy. Actually, I maybe I'll even put this on the main channel. Even if you subscribe, it might not get recommended. Like, I kind of need to grind it back up now. Get a couple banger videos, or otherwise it, it's... It's gonna be very difficult to break through the algorithm. I could preemptively use Dragon here, but I just never enjoyed doing that. Like, I'll wait until overtime or something. I'm gonna... Kill the rest or the hand so at least. Like even if she can't rest, she like it it, it wastes some time. This could actually be a very good uh, match to bot review as well. Huh. <laughs> Dude, 26 eliminations in one round with 20 final blows. So now, it's like, here's a good example. There's multiple covers between me and that Ash, so she was very free. Very easy kill. Basically a free kill, because she won't notice me. They could have maybe contested with the pocket. Something kind of advanced, I don't know if you guys think it's dumb or what, but there I peeked wide. And then I got this intuitive feeling that I'm gonna die. I was peeking wide, they got a window. So my intuition automatically pushed me to go back to cover. That's a good example of why you need to just grind the game. Or at, rather like what the benefits of just grinding the game a lot are. The intuition is so invaluable because it lets you react much faster. Nice, good job. Here I aimed here because if she's gonna blink, she's gonna get stuck on the car. So I was waiting for her to blink. Check out my new insane video on the Flashpoint maps if you haven't seen it yet. It kind of get buried by the algorithm, so go check it out.